I'm watching all these movementations and stuff and if everything goes wrong, it crossed your mind how it's that. Yeah, it definitely did. watching all these movementations and stuff and if everything goes wrong it crossed your mind how it's that yeah it definitely did before i even signed up for the course how was that so i posted a lot of skydiving videos here and what i did before i even signed up for the course was i started watching youtube videos just like i would have been watching my own to see what it was like and what experiences i would expect so I started off watching training material. Okay. You know, to get some, you know, a sense of how the course might go or what I could expect. Mm -hmm. And the training material became, okay, this is what happens when something bad goes, but it was more training materials. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a malfunction, they would explain, you know, a little bit about how it would go. Mm -hmm. And I'd start to get a little bit more nervous. And then YouTube starts serving me disaster videos. <laughs> Yeah, the algorithm is amazing. <laughs> so I start watching the first disaster video, not a training material, but an actual disaster caught on camera. And then I started watching a second and a third and a fourth and a fifth and a sixth and a seventh and an eighth and a ninth. And the next thing I know, I had stayed up all night watching skydive disaster videos before I even went to the course. And how did you sleep that night? I didn't sleep. I, <laughs> it happened to me on two nights where I go down this YouTube rabbit hole of watching disaster videos. And, and uh, here's something for YouTube. As soon as you start watching a lot of disaster skydiving videos, YouTube thinks you're some sort of crazy person who <laughs> likes this stuff. So they keep suggesting more and more and more disaster videos. <laughs> And I'm not smart enough not to watch them. So I always watch the next one and I hadn't even taken the course yet, but I think it actually wound up helping me. Why do you say that? Because I had seen by this point, every single problem that could ever happen skydiving in the most traumatic way possible, <laughs> enough that I lost two days worth of sleep. But in order for me to go to the course, I felt like, okay, skydiving is an extreme sport. Yeah, right? it, it is dangerous. It, it is, it, like, there's no question about it. You jump out of a perfectly good airplane. Yeah, there's no more health features for you. Yeah, there's crazy. like, you know, you're on your way to the ground, whether you get there under a parachute or without a parachute. Yes. Right, so I watched all of these videos and I became comfortable, not desensitized, but I became comfortable that there could be problems they are going to teach you how to fix those problems when they're there. And then it's going to be up to me to be able to tell myself, hey, I can learn how to do this and learn how to fix these problems if I encounter them, which I didn't, except for that one bad skydive, which is not even half as terrible as some of the YouTube videos that you can find out there. Yeah, you can click here and watch his worst skydive ever but also if you didn't watch all the videos till now you don't know but you jump with two parachutes so actually you have some sort of maneuver right it's four points how is that yeah so you've got a backup reserve chute in case there's a problem with the main one you have an automatic computer uh, type device that will deploy your second parachute if you if you become you know in trouble for some reason or unconscious yeah so there's a you know there are a lot of backups but it's still a it's still a dangerous sport and you see this mm -hmm. with all of these skydiving videos yes. so i think that if you're going to take the course and you can watch all of these and be okay knowing that these are some of the possible consequences of actually taking on a sport like skydiving and then you can get back to focusing on learning the skydiving rather than being afraid of the skydiving 
yeah if you want to know a little bit more about these maneuvers and how these parachutes work the main one or the secondary one just click here and watch the full video i am so glad that you have no mom functions and you were still here to tell this story we just finished bonus material we had a great time reviewing some of the videos but if you want to watch the original video go here and if you want to watch the whole story and know everything about it go here do you know what would help subscribe like share and comment in the comment section below see you next week